Oh hi! Today I have the Gundam Wing Collector's Ultra Edition Blu-ray set, and I'm going to do an unboxing plus take a look at what's inside, including a flip through of the art book. I'm not going to go too in-depth into what is on the Blu-ray or discussing the packaging or anything like that. This is an art channel, so I want the focus of this video to be on the posters, prints, and the art book that comes with this set. I'll include links down below in the description box to listings by the publisher, Right Stuff Anime, and Amazon, so if you want the details, you can find them there. When you open the box, the first thing you find is the art book, which is hardcover. Beneath that, there are a few mini posters on a basic glossy poster paper, and a few prints on a nice, thicker cardstock-like paper. The set also includes five pins of the five main characters of Gundam Wing, from here on I shall refer to them as the boys, and five Art Nouveau style cards. And then at the bottom is a whole bunch of cardboard and the discs. The box set includes every episode, an OVA, an extra bit of animation ever released for Gundam Wing. And yeah, you aren't imagining things, the cases are black with dark green text for the descriptions on the back, and they are super hard to read. Here are close-ups of the pins, or at least the best that I could manage. They were really hard to film since they are wee and quite reflective. They are very nicely detailed. The first pin of Hiro Yui is larger than the others and more dynamic, but he is technically the first of the boys you meet, and I guess he's also technically the main, main character, so... The Art Nouveau cards are probably my second favorite things in the box, next to the art book. I kind of wish we had gotten larger versions of these because they're so beautiful, but I may try to find some way to frame them anyway. The mini posters and prints are high quality, and some of the art I'm not sure I've ever seen before. They include everything from all the boys hanging out and posing, to all the villains hanging out and posing, with Relina for some reason, to some art of the Gundam suits themselves. I'm not entirely certain what I'll do with these, but they are nice to have. As with all of my tours of super shiny books, I need to apologize for any glare from my lights. It's the dead of winter, and I live in Nova Scotia, so the world is gloomy and dark pretty much 24-7. I'm trying to film during the period of time known as day in other parts of the world, which is a time when the gloom is slightly brighter than near darkness for a few hours. My lighting setup comprises of a bunch of lamps rather than diffused light, something I wish I could rectify, but I've just got to struggle through for now. I've tried to hold the pages in a way to minimize glare when possible, but hopefully this tour of the art book will give you an idea. The art book does have a table of contents, which probably went by too fast to read. The book contains an artwork gallery, a promotional gallery of posters, I think, related to the show, a character design gallery, a mecha design gallery, storyboards for the two opening themes for the show, which were Just Communication and Rhythm Emotion, and what they call a Gunpla gallery, which I think is a gallery of the different model kits you could have gotten. There's also three interviews, which is super cool, and I'm so sorry for butchering anyone's names. Staff interviews with the director, Masashi Ikeda, and the character designer, Shuko Murase, and a roundtable interview with voice actor Hikaru Midorikawa, episode writer Katsuyuki Sumisawa, and producer Hideyuki Tomoka. As some background, in case you've never heard of the anime and you're somehow still watching this video, the Gundam franchise has existed since the late 70s slash early 80s, and it spawned numerous spin-offs and alternate universe series with a general overarching theme, giant robots, or mecha, in various militaristic settings. Gundam Wing is one of those alternate universe series, first airing in 1995 in Japan for 49 episodes and one OVA sequel. It wasn't super huge in Japan, but it was brought to North America in early 2000 and became one of the most popular animes of the time. Gundam Wing is fairly simple plot-wise. Five teenage boys pilot their own mecha suits in a war raging between Earth and the colonies in space. 
There are crazy bad guys in masks, crazy bad guys with spiky eyebrows, crazy bad guys who are super creepy little girls, and all the coups and mecha battles you would expect from a Gundam show. The show is also kind of melodramatic and over-the-top drama-wise looking back, which I'm not sure if that added to the appeal or not. Gundam Wing wasn't really the kind of show I would have normally watched. I mean, I was an anime fanatic at the time, so I tried to watch anything anime at all. For years, my grandparents would pick me up random anime VHS tapes with everything from episodes of Fushigi Yugi and Cowboy Bebop to movies like Perfect Blue and Blood the Last Vampire. I don't think they knew how mature those last two were. Even so, my tastes were definitely more into anime like Sailor Moon and revolutionary girl Utena, 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 and Escaflone. I didn't really do mecha unless it was set in a fantasy setting. But I loved Gundam Wing. And it's gonna be because of the boys, because I didn't really connect with any of the female characters except maybe Catherine, Troa's sister. Oh, and I think Sally Poe was probably the only sane character in the whole show looking back. The boys, though, I wrote so much fanfiction with self-insertion characters, it was ridiculous. Some of those characters are in my old sketchbook tours, too. The show played on YTV, which is a local Canadian cartoon station, and I think they only ever aired the edited down, sanitized versions of the episodes. Regardless, every night it aired, I would tape it on a VHS and then watch it the next day after I get out of school. Those were probably the last times I ever worked a VCR, except to rewind tapes when I used to work at a movie gallery in my hometown. As a side note, because I'm sure someone is confused, Movie Gallery was a blockbuster rival, but I think they went out of business even sooner than Blockbuster did. The one in my hometown closed down like 9 or 10 years ago, I think. It was an awesome job, though. As someone who used to print off art from my favorite animes and would keep folders of crappy JPEGs on my computer, this art book is pretty exciting for me. I wouldn't say much of the art was a surprise. I mean, Gundam Wing came out over 20 years ago, so there's been plenty of time for all the art to circulate around the internet. But I love having it nonetheless. I mean, I happen to love art books in general, so... The most surprising aspect of the art book are the interviews, I think, which appear to be more recent and give new insight into what is essentially a kind of old anime. I expected the art book to be just that, a straight up book of the various promotional art, which it mostly is, but there's so much more that makes it a really well-rounded book that I'm very happy to have in my collection. The only thing I will note is that the storyboards for the opening themes are cool, but they kind of feel a bit unnecessary. They're very scribbly, and they didn't translate any of the notes, so it's hard to really understand what's going on, even knowing how the themes go. Fewer pages could have been given to the storyboards to allow for more art, because I'm sure there's still more of it out there. Or they could have featured a fan art gallery with more modern interpretations of the Gundam Wing universe, which would have been super cool also. This box set also doesn't include anything on the various manga released. I don't mean the Jojinshi, of which there were many, but the manga that I thought to be considered canon? I mean, maybe it's not, but I think they are. I own one called Blind Target that serves as a side story between the events of the Gundam Wing TV show and the OVA Endless Waltz, and fills in a few of the blanks between the two. But for being focused on the animation, this is definitely a very complete box set. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed listening to me ramble, feel free to check out more of my videos or subscribe. I make new art videos every Friday, and I hope to see you next week. Bye!